on home turf for what could be the most consequential prosecution in US history. America's 45th president, but the first to face something like this. Well, a slow drive down this road for Donald Trump, but I have to say there are not very many supporters here. He will surely be hoping that his base swells a little more than this. We love Trump! We love Trump! The support that was here, conservatives from across the spectrum, were angry, determined, and representing so many more across the country. He's, you know, being picked on, really. All the other presidents have done the same thing he's doing. I think the allegations against Joe Biden and his family are significantly more serious than the ones against Donald Trump. It breaks my heart to think that we are on a way to becoming a banana republic here. One more year. The seriousness of the charges are not their focus because this is the court of public opinion. They believe it is a hit job by Biden to remove his political rival. Outside the courthouse itself, the stage is set to record this spectacle. It's unprecedented. It's double unprecedented because he's also indicted in New York. John Sale has the context of history. He remembers Watergate better than most because he was a special prosecutor against President Nixon. Well, reading the indictment is shocking. I mean, it is an incredible amount of detail. Uh, it talks about recklessly storing national security information, talking about it to people who don't have clearance, and it portrays former President Trump as a great threat to our national defense. Mr. Sale also represented Donald Trump's associate, Rudy Giuliani. Trump wanted him, too, for a previous case, but Mr. Sale turned him down. How do you counter uh, the view that we hear everywhere uh, among Trump supporters? What about ism? They, what about President Biden and his document scandal? What about Hillary Clinton and her emails? What about Mike Pence? How do you counter that? The, the big difference is cooperation. And when President Trump was served a subpoena last spring, if he had told his lawyer, look, I want to turn over everything. I want to comply with the subpoena, do a diligent search, everything we have, turn it over to the grand jury, you and I wouldn't be here today. Yet so many believe this is a witch hunt. Where does that leave American justice and American society? Uh, well, that's, that's the right question. Uh, the American judicial system is on trial also, and the whole world is watching it. Lock him up, baby! 